Right, I'd just like to make it clear from the start of this video and to include all other videos during this lockdown. I am adhering to the lockdown regulations and I have not been riding a motorcycle for the purpose of making videos. I'm not really sure how many times I have to say this but I have now said it again. It's an ongoing expense with this channel expanding the storage on my editing computer. I'm now up to 16 terabytes and the reason for that is I store all the footage that I collect whilst making videos. 400 videos, which means in times like this I can draw on some of that footage to pad my videos out in order to make them just that little bit more interesting rather than filming on the drive or in my dining room all the time. And the rad footage that was used in Friday's video for the Lomo Panniers was taken from two videos that were filmed during the summer, some of it from the Royal Enfield field waxed panniers video and some of it from the Loma crash bar bag video both of which luckily were filmed partly in the same location so for the village idiots that decided to jump up onto their soap boxes and lecture me on riding through the lockdown i would advise you to get your facts right before making fools of yourselves right onwards and upwards As people will probably know if they've followed this channel for some time, I have always done my best to promote British companies in my videos. Not exclusively, but I would say probably 80 to 90% of the products that I review are either British made or they're at least marketed by British companies. And that's a criteria that I've tried to sort of fulfill right from the day this channel started, insofar as I can. Few of us can fail to have noticed that Brexit actually happened 11 p.m. on the 31st of December 2020. Britain is once again, to all intents and purposes, an independent country, no longer governed by the European bloc. Now, I have no intentions of getting into any debates over the rights or wrongs of Brexit, but my New Year's resolution is to redouble my efforts to support British companies. On the face of it, we've got six weeks left before there's any possibility of me being able to ride. So I spent the entire weekend on the internet ordering various different products from British companies to lend my support to British commerce. The pandemic has for the most part already knocked the stuffing out of companies worldwide, which is going to make Brexit it doubly hard on British companies so I make no apologies for my efforts over the next few weeks to try my best to seduce whatever spare cash you have out of your wallets and your bank accounts and into British business. Now while I'm waiting for some of those products to arrive, Motone Customs have stood up to the mark and sent a few bits and pieces through to me. So today we're going to start with a couple of new products, or should I say new versions of a product that they brought out last year. A product designed to fit all of the water-cooled Triumph Bonneville Twins. Now, Motone introduced their brass stud knuckles, I think about a year ago. A high-quality, precision, die-cast piece made from brass, intended to cover over and add a touch of style and class to the cylinder head bolts on the 900cc and 1200cc water-cooled twins. Now, I can't think why, but it would seem that brass is not everyone's cup of tea. And although those brass knuckles styled closely on the ever-popular Roswell oil filler cap have been very successful, apparently there have been a lot of requests to Motone for different versions made from aluminium. Now, there has been something in a delay of this happening because it requires a different type of mould to die-cast in aluminium to those used for die-casting in brass. 
The moulds need to be tuned, if you like, to be able to cope with different temperatures. Also, whilst cooling, the two different metals shrink or contract at different rates. So brand new moulds had to be made of a slightly different size in order to ensure a perfect precision fit and these parts do have to be a very precise fit over the bolts in order to ensure that they stay put and look right once they've been fitted. Moton can't afford for them to have any play in them. There must be a precise tight fit. The two new versions are the powder coated black aluminium version that you've just seen and this polished aluminium version. As far as these sort of parts go these days, these knuckles sell for pretty much pocket money prices and each set comes complete with a set of locking grub screws and an allen key to facilitate fitting. Fitting is really simple and straightforward. Simply thread the grub screw into the side of your knuckle, fit the knuckle onto the stud and then just tighten up the locking grub screw. It's as simple as that, the entire job takes about 10 minutes. Now I have a sneaky suspicion that these black versions are going to be the most popular, but personally I prefer the polished version. Now don't forget Moton Customs offer a 15% discount which is exclusive to viewers of this channel and I will leave that discount code in the video description down below along of course with the product link to these two products. Now Moton have asked me to let you know especially our European friends that business is running as usual although obviously there may be very slight delays getting orders out to the European countries and don't forget that you will now have to pay your local tax rate when your orders come into your country and you will of course not be charged at UK VAT if purchasing from the European Union. Once again thank you so much for watching this and my other videos and in doing so helping to support this channel. I really do appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell and ensure that your notifications are enabled on your account. That way you can be informed whenever I upload a new video. I will of course be back on Friday, so until then, please ride safely and I'll see you soon.